Hey everybody, it's time for the next video in the series outlining the software and scripts I'm using along with XBMC to make this media center come together. And the next one we're going to be going over has to deal with XBMC itself. As you can see, um, since I haven't been making videos, I've been spending the time getting movies copied and more fan up put in and things like that. And so what we're going to be going over today is the add-on advanced launcher. And that is what takes care of all of these links down here. Now advanced launcher, like I said, it's an add-on that you can install. I'll provide a link to the add-on and its documentation on the XPMC forum thread in the description below. And so we're going to go to add-ons here. right here. Now Advanced Launcher can launch any command from XBMC, which is great. And not only can it launch a command, but it can also provide um, command line arguments as well. So say you have an emulator like the Dolphin emulator or PCX2, and how you normally launch that from the command line is you send the command to launch the emulator, and then you provide it a link to the game you want to play and any arguments, and Advanced Launcher can help you do that. And Angels Cry, I believe, the person who uh, wrote this add-on has tons of documentation for it. It's very extensive, and if you can't figure out how to get it to work using his documentation, then it's probably not going to work otherwise. I've been using Advanced Launcher. As you guys saw in the previous video series I made outlining my personal media center, we use that for all our games and things like that, and my brother and I play Super Smash Bros. Melee Night B on the Dolphin emulator and we always launch it from XPMC using the advanced launcher so it's a great uh, little add-on to have I think it's a must-have add-on for anyone who uses XPMC but since this media center won't be handling any games you may be wondering why I want to use it well the reason I want to use it is for providing links to things that XPMC doesn't handle on its own um, like Netflix, which I outlined, I think that was one of the earlier videos in the series, and the auto rip DVD script that I made. And so I'm just going to check the configuration, see if I changed anything. I don't believe I did. Nope. And so you don't have to worry about changing any of the settings for that. What you will have to do, though, is create links to the uh, application you want to launch and you can do that by going to your programs add-on here and this add-on works really well with the Aeon MQ4 skin because Aeon MQ4 lets you make these little shortcuts and things like that and customize them and once I show you how to make a link I'll show you how to add it to the home page as a sub menu or even a main menu if you want so you go to program add-ons then you go to advanced launcher and then it has a default folder and then I provided these two links here now the way you can provide the link is you're gonna wanna go into the context menu which is normally C on your keyboard or you can right click if you use a mouse and then you can do create new launcher and when you do this it'll ask you what you want um, what type of launcher it'll be, whether it needs to have arguments to go along with it, or if it's just a standalone EXE. The Netflix one is a .lnk or a shortcut link. This one is a .bat or .bat script, but either of them work just fine if you just set it as a normal executable. And once you provide the link to those, um, where to get those, you can look at my previous videos. I provided links and documentation and a quick overview of those in previous videos. So once you provide the link to where you stored it on your um, Media Center's hard drive, then it's created here. And what you want to do after that to make it work with Aeon MQ4 is open the context menu again and you want to click this Add to Favorites. Now the neat thing about Aeon MQ4 is when you add something to your favorites, you can provide a link to it into the home menu and you do that by going to customizations then you click fave remaining six and you can also do video playlist audio playlist or an add-on if you want to so you click that 
and it has these and it has movie quiz as well um, that was an XBMC add-on I marked that as favorite so people can use it while they're you know waiting for friends to arrive or getting snacks or drinks while they want to watch the movie and once you've marked it as a favorite like I said it's here as something you can add to the home page and so I'm going to click on this and it asks you which menu you want to add it under I have both Netflix and copy DVD and movie quiz under the movies submenu and then I have um, Netflix under the TV submenu as well because you're not typically going to copy TV shows in the same manner you would a movie so that takes a bit more effort so once you've added it you can then edit how it looks by still being in customizations and then you click on it and then you can choose to give it a single backdrop image or multiple like the background you see behind you from movies is all one folder and then it just shuffles through art or you can give it one image which is what I did and I will be providing links to all of the art I use for like the copy movie and the Netflix backgrounds I'll be making a link to all of that as well as the fan art that you see in the background right now and I think that's how I'll probably close this video series but if you have any art you want to use instead, feel free to do that. Um, that's the nice thing about XPMC is it lets you customize it exactly how you want it to be. And so once you've made your settings, you can change the name of it, things like that. Then you can just go to end and it'll be right there in the home menu. And like I said, that makes it incredibly useful. And another benefit, if you're using an MQ4, you don't see it here because I disabled it. But Aon MQ4 actually has a games menu, and a lot of people um, ask how to get that to work or how to set that up. And if you change the settings in Aon Nox to launch Advanced Launcher from the games menu, it is an option you can set. Then all you have to do is go over to games, press enter, and then you can browse all of your Advanced Launcher links from there. As far as Advanced Launcher goes, that's pretty much it. I can, here, I will click the link and then Advanced Launcher gives us the notification and it opens up Netflix. And like I said, Advanced Launcher, it's a very simple to set up, very simple to use, very powerful, very great add-on. I think it's one of the best add-ons for XPMC that you can get. I believe everyone should try it, at least to make their lives a bit easier. And like I said, since this media center is going to a um, family that I won't be able to, you know, watch them use it all the time. I wanted to make sure that it is as easy to use as possible. So that's why I added these links using Advanced Launcher, just to make sure they don't have to ever exit XPMC if they don't want to. So that's about it for this video. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions or anything you want to see me do next, uh, leave a comment in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time.